It's in the game. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. Boxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the day for this bantamweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 19 wins, six losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Walburn, Massachusetts, Rob Fox! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar, Sean O'Malley! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? Okay, you ready? Let's go. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, big hit to the body. That'll soften him up. Yeah, oh, huge right hand. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Just missing on the uppercut there. 
blocks the strike. Nice head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Sean O'Malley. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Try to establish that jab. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just out of range with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Strong hook lands. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses with the jab. Big kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, big shot lands. You gotta check. Low leg kick. He blocked the punch. Nice body shot. Just misses with that one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Pretty good right hand. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Leg kick land. 20 seconds left. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, that right hand is on point. Try wow! What a wow! There's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Great punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. Oh yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chest too. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. 
Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right head. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Nice straight punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice one, two there. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his strike. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Shaw. He's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout.